For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com All right, guys, let's do these two problems together where they want you to replace the loading by an equivalent resultant force and couple moment acting from point A. And the second one, they want you to replace the whole thing by a single resultant force and find its location on the beam from A. So you have two distributed loads, a rectangular shape and a triangular shape. This line should make that pretty obvious. The rectangular shape has an equivalent force, F1, being applied right at the middle. And F2, which is the equivalent force of the triangle, is being applied at one third from the tall edge of the triangle. Now let's find some distances. You know that F1 is being applied at half the rectangle, that will make it 1.5 meters. You know that F2 is being applied one third from the tall edge of the triangle, that will be 3, which is the length of the rectangle, plus one third of the triangle, which will be 4 meters. So let's find the forces. F1 is the area of the rectangle, which is 400 times 3, which will be 1200 newtons. Yeah, this is in newtons, not in kilonewtons. F2, the area of the triangle, which is 400, times the length of the triangle, which is 3, divided by 2, and it is equal to 600 newtons. The resultant force, or equivalent force, whatever you want to call it, is the addition of F1 plus F2, and it is equal to 1800 newtons. The moment Sorry about that guys, my phone rang, where was I? Okay, so you got the resultant force, is the addition of the two. Now the moment, about A, let's assume clockwise is positive, since they all seem to be turning it clockwise, is equal to F1 times the distance, which is 1.5 meters, 1.5 meters, plus because F2 is also turning it clockwise, the distance that is turning F2 times four meters. When you plug in F1 or F2, which we already found into the above formula, you get that this is equal to 4200 newton meters. That's the moment created about A going clockwise because it's positive and we assumed clockwise is positive. Now the last thing we want they want you to find is for the second problem, they want you to find the distance from A to where this resultant force will be applied to replace this loading so you know that the moment is equal to the resultant force times the hypothetical distance the moment is 4200 the resultant force is 1800 and the distance is d is what we're trying to find when you solve for d d is equal to 2.333 meters final answer for the distance final answer for the moment final answer for the resultant or equivalent force. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.